Hey guys, I know this is late coming. Um, it's 4.30 in the afternoon on the West Coast. So I know it's getting up there on 7.30 on the East Coast. But I did want to take the opportunity on January 1st to wish each and every one of you and your families, any one of you that watch any of my videos, I want to wish you a very blessed and successful 2024. I hope that this year is better for you. If I mean, hopefully 2023 was good, but let's hope that 2024 is even that much better and that you get much success and many blessings in this coming year. Thank you for watching. Uh, we still got editorials coming. There's been one particular new law in California that everybody's talking about. I'm going to talk about that one and give you a forum here in, my, in the video that I do. I'll give you a forum in the comment section to discuss that law and how you feel about that. There you go. Um, <clears throat> but I'm also going to bring you other stories. We're going to continue. We're going to move forward this year with stories on law enforcement and public official corruption and so forth. Now, for a lot of the new people who may say, why do you do this? Why do you sit here and give us these news stories? Because we don't want a, an incident with a law enforcement officer where they violated someone's civil rights, particularly the Bill of Rights, first through the Tenth Amendments. Uh, we don't want you know, a violation of civil rights or a crime committed by a law enforcement officer to be regulated to a local newspaper or a local news show or a local rag on the grocery store rack. We want the nation to see what happened in that local area. Even the world, people from the United Kingdom watched YouTube videos. People from Australia and New Zealand watch these YouTube videos. People from Canada, Mexico, all over the world, people are watching these YouTube videos. And so we want everyone to see, oh, and, uh, you know, Bum Canyon, Indiana, this cop did this and that. And through doing that, what happens then is we bring attention to that one local incident. So instead of just that incident being, you know, uh, regulated to the local newspaper there on the shelf and maybe the, you know, a little five minute spot on their local news channel. Now everybody in the nation knows what happened in that town. And as more word gets out on it, maybe more people will begin to discuss it. Um, Elijah McClain, the whole world knows his name now, you know, Sean Monterosa, the whole nation, not just California knows his name now. So <clears throat> through social media, we're able to let everyone know, look, this is what happened in this little town. These people suffered. But if you wonder, why do you even do that? I mean, what's, who gave you the power to do it? I'll show it one more time. This is the thumbnail that has become my slogan. One day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew. Man, you do something about it because you can. Mm. Through social media, through video editing, I have the power to do something about it. And that's another reason I cop watch. So I'm going to continue to do it. 2024, we're moving forward. We're not stopping. We're going ahead. We're going to keep on going with this thing. Love it. I'm going to do it. Now, to end this, I want to say this to everybody out there. <clears throat> if you want to be successful this year, you have to go do it. It's like one person said, I believe it was Coach Payne that said it. He said, people, you know, they say, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, so much, but you do so little. It's time to do much. It's time to get up and get out there and become successful. You've got to want it like you want to breathe. You got to get up, you got to go outside, and you got to go for it. You got to act like this is my breath, this is my oxygen. Without this, I don't breathe. And you got to go after it. So may you all have a blessed and successful 2024 from my family to yours.